my crafty friend. This is Roxanne here. I'm showing you a haul I have, a mixed haul. So I hope you enjoy the video. Now, first thing I had gotten was these paints. Now, I was looking for the puffy paints, and there was ones that said puffy paint. And I wanted them to do the cookies. I had seen another girl on uh, YouTube doing it. But now... It doesn't say anything about puffy paints on there right now. So I think I got the wrong one. Um, because I was looking for the white and the other packages didn't have the white. So we'll see. I'll use them. They were at the dollar store. They were only $4. So we'll see what you like to color with. Anyway, that's it for that one. Now I have also gotten these. Of course, the little trees, $1.50. I've gotten two packs of them. So, I mean, to say the dollar store was out of them, and they have them back again now, so that's great. So I have two sets, and you, you can't, you know, you can't lose with that price. Now, here were some paint brushes I had picked up as well. Three fifty. dollars so I said I'd try those and try on some of my wooden beads and what have what have we because i had nothing to do wood with uh to do to paint wood with and you know try my luck at that anyway so that's that one gotten some really nice we woof you a merry christmas cards as well i really like those now i have some cards made and i will make more but you know what it's like okay now I also have some of these acrylic paints, so I, I said I'd give this one a try as well, because of course the main that I wanted once again was the white. So uh, we'll see, and they were only two dollars, so you know we're not going to lose am I? All right, and we have Christmas, uh, excuse me, the Halloween stuff is still there, seventy percent off. They didn't put any into a grab bag or a box and of course the stuff i showed you earlier was in a, a grab box uh that was in a previous video um but there was only one box there at that time so these i picked up it was two something each um i have lots of these type but these were like still a different color and what have we the ones i had gotten at ally express and for that price you can't lose anyway now i want to show you this this was something that I tried. They had these there as well. They never had them at Michael's before this. But um, they had them there this time. So I said, you know, I've always seen the shrinky dink stuff and what have we. And I was wondering how good it really worked. So with the sale, I paid 80 something cents per pack. So I said, I'll bring them home, give them a shot. Why not? You know. So this was one set, and this one is the pumpkins. And this set here, I opened to use the uh, the markers, and that's what they're like. They're already stamped and everything. And what you do with them is you turn them over, and this side here you paint. And of course, or uh, use your marker on. You can do whatever, but the markers come with them. So there's three colors, and then there's little chains there as well to make them into little keychains. I don't know if you can see that. So I thought it was great. I said, now I'll give that a try and see how it comes out. So we'll put that one aside. And then I also had gotten this one. I said, now that would be cute to myself. So, and for the price you can't lose. And this one. Now this one, I actually did one up to show you. First things first, here is the paper, the Shrinky Dink paper with the uh, images stamped on. And this part here is shiny and smooth. The part, of course, as I've said, that you paint is the other side. The You know, it's kind of a little bit rough-like. And you paint that side. You punch them out. Let me see here. Now, see, right? That's one. And then 
you have your keychains, of course, for each one. There's enough in there for four, you know, four. And I just wanted to show you, this was the one I took out. This is a witch. And uh, see the size of it? Now, I shrunk it, did what they told me. And just look at that. Oh my God, isn't that the cutest ever? I didn't think that the markers were going to be too vibrant because they didn't look too vibrant on it because this is the side that uh, you paint, of course. But once it's shrunk in the oven, there you go. Look at that. I think that is just the cutest, cutest charm ever. So I think if I get a chance, I will get some more because I, I really enjoyed at it. And your beautiful charms. Look at the thickness. I think it's great. Love it. Okay, well, that's it for now. Oh, no, it's not. I have one more thing to show you. This is an ornament that I made. Now, what I did here, made it into a shaker. And what I used was a button kit that you get at Michael's. So you get, I think there's three into a package. It has the pin on it, so you can leave the pin on if you wanted to make it into a button. But they had them on sale where it was like three for two dollars. So I said, oh, I'll give it a try. I took out the pin, of course, opened it up, took out the pin. Then what I did was I uh, found a shape that I liked, cut it out the same circumference. And then what I did was put in my uh, shaker bits, you know, the ones that I had chose, and um, put some stickers on the top. As for this cord here, this is the same stuff that I have showed you before off of this one here. I haven't seen it since. This was in my stash. So, I mean to say, I'm going to miss this one here when, I, when I'm out of it because this is great, this one. And um, so I put it between the top and the bottom, as you can see, and then just pushed it on. And when I did that, of course, it's got a perfect, perfect holder. So there's an ornament, something easy to make. You can certainly make it with the kids and stuff. I mean to say, you can't lose, right? I think it's beautiful. Here's another one that I had caught. There we go, see, there's the front. And that was the one that's, oh, that's just another one I had there. And then this one would actually go on the bottom of it. But it would go like this, and you would have it like this, but what you would do is put your shaker bits and anything else that you wanted on the inside. Then you'd press it all together like this and have your uh, ribbon or rope or whatever into it. Stays quite good, hangs well, decorate it the way you want it. Well, that's it for now. And I want to thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and uh, ring that notification bell because I'd like for you to uh, know every time I put up a video. That's if you uh, want to. And uh, I will have to say goodbye for now. Thank you.